Does the circle of fifths confuse you? Memorize this pattern, F, C, G, D, A, E, B. But I'm going to show you a quick way as to how it works. So we start in the key of C with zero sharps or flats. If we go to the right, we're going to add one sharp, and that turns out to be the key of G. So that means if you have one sharp, you're going to take that first letter. It's going to be F. Once we go to the next key, which is D, it has two sharps. It's going to add one more to that previous. So now we got F and C. Same thing works. You just keep on going. Let's say we have four sharps. Well, those sharps are going to be F, C, G, and D. Now the cool thing about this system is, backwards, F, C, G, D, A, E, B spells B, E, A, D, G, C, F. Now that's the order for the flat keys. So now the first flat key is F. It has one flat, and that flat is going to be B. If we have two flats, it's going to be B and E. If we have three flats, it's going to be B, E, and A, and so on. So this is just the fundamental way that the circle of fifths works.